Hello everybody and welcome back to LTV Plays Neon Abyss. I don't think I don't think the first run went well. The first run definitely could have gone better. But hopefully the frames will be a little bit better this time because as I expected last time, Windows was updating stuff. Which is cool. I love it when Windows does that. So we're gonna jump straight into another run. Um I figured out what this extra power up is that the game's given me for purchasing an upgrade. Hopefully something good. Hopefully something that's going to make me win for a start. That'd be nice. Death is the only way out. Wrong. Wrong. Winning. Winning is the way out. I will show you. When you load. Good day. Thank you. Okay, so. Uh, we got. We knew we'd got the Death Believer. Uh, kill enough enemies and you'll drop extra hearts. Pretty straightforward, pretty good. Could do with that, I guess. Weapon does more damage when you're at full hearts. Oh, so extra hearts and damage at full hearts. So they're going to fit really nicely with each other. Couldn't speak properly then. More hearts, just in case we didn't have enough. Um, the seeds in the bottom right corner as well, if, uh, if anybody wants to play along. I'll not read the seed out because... I mean, I'm not very good at it for a start. I did it wrong last time and capitalizing and uncapitalizing letters at will just because I can. And, you know, I'm kind of trying not to get killed. Oh, it's music again. Every time. Just gotta stop. Stop bobbing. You just gotta do it. You gotta bob. Oh, nades. Oh, I'd already got a nade. Oh, this character starts with a nade. Oh, I should have changed my character. I should have used one of the other ones. Just to try them all out. But then if I drop this down to the bottom, then I don't need to use a nade. Yeah. We are conserving precious resources. Any enemies in here? No? No enemies? We cool? We clear? We good. We got some eggs. Some Eggmons. I wonder what Eggmon we're gonna get. Two Eggmons! I guarantee... Oh, don't shoot that. I don't... Do I want a Devil Deal? No, no, no. I want Crystals. Crystal Deal. Still haven't remembered what that's called when uh, the blue the purple meter for the crystal deals cannot remember is it is it intelligence if it is intelligence that would explain why i can't remember i am lacking in the intelligence department here and if you haven't noticed already some of these enemies they drop little worms and if you step on them uh, then they drop a coin which is pretty sweet I think there's even an, an, an Try again. I think there is even an achievement for stepping on so many worms. There might not be, but I think there is. This, I think, if I risk taking a little bit of damage, I think I can shoot that barrel through there if I position myself just right. I've done it before, but I'm not sure if it was because I had bigger bullets. Might be because I had bigger bullets before. I could have sworn... Mm, yeah, maybe you need bigger bullets. Whiff! Right again. There we go. Oh, at least I got one back. So that's good. And the barrel was kind enough to blow up the chest that required a bomb for me. That saves me another bomb. Game's been pretty generous with bombs so far. I never seem to get bombs. Boing! Head into the secret room. Um, I imagine you already saw the weird glowy stuff coming through the wall that indicates that that is a secret room. That glowy stuff's not always there. The secret rooms are only pointed out occasionally until you've got the upgrade um, that guarantees that they will be pointed out. I think it guarantees anyway. I don't know. I've never unlocked it because to get to that, you have to unlock something else that seems a little bit undesirable, if I'm perfectly honest. 
Okay, some of the enemies in these waves are probably going to hit me this last wave. This last wave is usually a bad one. These red dudes. I'm not very good with the red dudes. Never mind. Oh, Szechuan sauce! I love me some Szechuan sauce. I've never actually had Szechuan sauce. I don't know what it's like. But as a weapon, it's pretty good. It sets things on fire. This is... So I'm assuming that that is what the sauce is. I'm assuming it's just a spicy sauce. Like I say, I've never had it. I have only ever uh, heard of Szechuan sauce from Rick and Morty, as I imagine most people have. Or maybe maybe it's just me that's living in under a rock and's never had the chance to eat it. Like, do any other places do Szechuan sauce? I know it, Rick and Morty says it was the uh, the promotional event at McDonald's from it Mulan or something. I don't know. I can't. I can't really remember. Um, but does anywhere else do it? I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere. Like I said, never even heard of it until Rick and Morty. I just live under a rock. Or behind a monitor, rather. I don't, I don't go out much. There's people out there and, you know, it's like... I just like to be at home. Home when it's cosy and comfy. Apart from when I have to go to work. I think that's why I don't like going out. Because outside's where work lives. I don't like work. No, I'm kidding. Work's fine. Work ain't too bad. Okay, so we're on the boss already, Mcducky. Oh, Mcducky is obviously McDonald's and Kentucky together. Don't know why I felt the need to point that out because it was pretty obvious. But I got Szechuan sauce for a McDonald's man. Oh. Okay, this boss seems. A little bit hectic for a first floor boss, especially when it's in this second phase. This is a bad phase. This is bad stuff. Bad news bears! Oh! Uh, no! Stop pooping out all the spiky things at me! Oh, you got destroyed! Flawless! Flawless! Still got a really big lag spike when I picked up that, uh, the, uh, I can't show you. Maybe I can. The, uh, this deal. This deal here. Got a really big lag spike when I picked that up. Again, I don't know why. I mean, it's not bad. It's not hindering my gaming at all because it's after the boss and there's no big deal at all. I just, I just don't understand why. Like, picking that up when I play it on the Xbox never does anything. It just consumes it like any other consumable. It's, it's all well and good. It's just on my PC for some reason. It's just, it doesn't like it really does not. Um, speaking of big lag spikes though, I had a run on this last night after I'd finished recording. Ah! On my on my Xbox version, my Xbox profile. Um, I got a really, really overpowered run. This game, as fantastic as it is and as cool as the synergies are, if your run gets as overpowered as mine was, it does not handle synergies. Well, it does not handle, like, everything that's going on at all. Like, I'm not just running the, the standard uh, Xbox One. It's the the One X. So you'd imagine it should have a little bit more, a bit more oomph to its processing power than just your standard variation, and it did not handle it well. Maybe the PC will do it a bit better. The PC's got a bit more power behind it, so it might be all right. But I was firing so many homing projectiles, and it was fine. When I was just firing the projectiles, like in an empty room, just to see how my gun fired, perfectly fine, looked really cool. As soon as all those projectiles targeted an enemy, and it had those extra calculations to process, wow, it just locked up for like maybe a second, a second and a half, two seconds. It was, it was an amazing, intense, crazy. Never seen anything like it. Madness. But it didn't really hinder me all that much, to be honest with you, because there was that many bullets in the air, nothing hit me anyway. We got a flower. What does a flower do? I don't know what the alien does either. Uh, fires two heat-seeking bullets. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, fires split bullets automatically. Undeath damages all enemies in the room. Did not know that. I never really read the descriptions for any of these things. Like, I've got a cube. What does a cube do? This little brick blocks enemies, bullets. On death, you have a chance to get another blue brick. Okay. That seems cool. So, 
if I'm lucky, I could just constantly have a blue brick. No, 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 no. You're going down, Woobat. There's clearly a Woobat. Woobat. Not Zubat, Woobat. You may not understand properly because of my common accent, but I say Woobat. Oh, I've got my uh, thingy, dealy deal. How long have I had that for? I hope I haven't had it long. Uh, silver compass or hard mints? Everybody likes a polo. Every time your pet evolves, you drop half a shield. That's good. I like shields. I find that shields are a lot more useful than health because you can just keep stacking shields, whereas health only goes up to the limit of your heart containers. Uh, I actually have money. Why is this? How? I'm going to buy whatever this is. Blasting cap 5000. Your bomb will create an X-shaped blast. That sounds like a bomb that will kill me. Do I waste one to get a coin? Hmm, do I? Because then if I get this coin, then I can buy the gun that was in the shop. And new guns is good. What is it? Plastic. I have actually had this before now, I think about it. Hmm. I mean, it seems alright. It's not the best gun I've ever seen. Oh, this is like a prime example for testing out my new bombs. Uh, that is really good. Can we get them all? No. Yeah, I did. But I blew myself up at the same time. But I guess it was worth it. Oh, I've got another new gun. Are oh, you spoiling me, game? Sentinel. What's a Sentinel do? Um, sacrifice performance and... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sacrifice performance to add a tracking module. Increase your rate of fire in the current room. What do you mean, sacrifice performance? Because I'm... Rate of fire. So it only occasionally fires two shots, whereas this always fires two shots. Okay, I, I get you, I get you. But it's got homing shots, and, you know, then, then I don't miss. More shields! I mean, I'll probably still miss. I'm like the only person in existence that could miss with a homing shot. Now, I figured with these rooms, even with a standard bomb, if these chests are in, like, individual little compartments like they are here, if you jump from the very edge of this platform, like, literally on the very edge, and then throw your bomb at the top of your jump, kind of screws you a little bit if you've got increased jump height. Uh, you might have to reassess what you're doing. But just with your standard jump height, from the edge of that platform, jump, throw your bomb, and it should land right in the middle and clear all... Like, clear access, give you access to all chests. Which is pretty good. Unless the middle chest happens to be a crystal chest and you don't want a devil deal. Why have I got devil deal stuff? I haven't hit any things that I shouldn't have. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but if you, if you do that and there's a crystal chest in the middle, then you're going to lose any purple, purple stuff that you have collected from opening crystal devices. This gun seems pretty solid. I am into it. Give me... I'm going to say give me the crystals, but I have full crystals. Not quite sure when I picked up the other crystals, but I have full crystals. Is that it for this floor? Is this floor done? Already? No. Surely not. Surely you jest. No? We're done. Okay, so I'm going to head back through this way because there's a chest in here and there must have been a reason why I didn't get said chest. I need to figure out why. Because it's blocked by money. You need currency to get through. I do not currently have currency. What was in the room to the left of here? There's another chest in there. Why, do I, why did I not get this chest? How can I forget these things already? I'm sure I've only just been through there. Oh, I can get them. Oh, it was a while ago that I came through here. That makes more sense. Oh, those bombs. I can't judge how wide the blast radius is. It's such a wide blast. I knew that those bombs were bad news bears as soon as I picked them up. Knew it. I wonder if that's why I'm getting the devil deal things, because I'm taking a lot of damage. 
Remington. Remington Steel. I don't know what Remington Steel is. This sounds like it should be a shaver. Speaking of shavers, I think I could probably do with a shave. Oh, no, don't. Stand right in his line of fire. Okay. Other than my slight whoopsie, that was really good. Space soda. Oh, damage. And health. We like health. Did it again. Did a freaky little lag spike again. I don't know why it, why it bugs me. It just does. Uh, if things aren't running as intended, when I know that they do otherwise, then it just irritates me the slightest bit. It's no big deal. Just stop, stop whinging about stuff. Ooh, more Eggmons. Why are none of my Eggmons hatching? Need more Eggmons, not just eggs. Oh, okay. Teleporting enemies are not my friend. But... Pos on the positive side, I actually saw them before they teleported. I usually don't see them straight away, and then they catch me off guard, and it's not good. Seeing as we're already working on a devil deal, can I even get up there, actually? I can't get up there, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to say, seeing as we're already working on a devil deal, I would shoot the crystal and turn it red, because I don't think I've demonstrated that side of it yet. So, we'll continue working towards a devil deal, seeing as we seem to be playing that way. Ah, I did not see them! Um, yeah, seeing as we seem to be heading towards that way anyway, we might as well continue down that path. And literally, just as I said, I happened to see those teleporting enemies I don't normally. The very next room, teleporting enemies did not see them, and they damaged me. It's, it's guaranteed. Really? Really? You fell? Why? Why you fall? No, don't go back down. Boing, boing, boing. So, have I been? We haven't been to a treasure room on this floor yet, as far as I'm aware. That was, that was not good. That was a difficult situation to dodge. What smashed then? I didn't see anything, but I heard it all up in my right ear that something smashed. Hmm. Moldy hearts. Oh, because I've got the... Okay, so earlier when I was saying that there was um, the upgrade so you can always see where secret rooms are, and I said that there was ah, something that I didn't want to unlock prior to that, like to enable me to get that upgrade, it was the ability for Moldy Hearts to spawn. There is, however, still a familiar that turns regular hearts, as you see now, into Moldy Hearts. But then I've got the blue doctor that's going to turn them into shields. Hopefully. Come on, you can do it. Don't be tight. Don't be tight with your shields. You're stealing all the hearts. Give me shield. Yeah, the moldy hearts are not, are not good. They're essentially better than half a heart in some ways because they can give you a full heart of health. And it's good that this companion thing that's following me and turn a half a heart into a full moldy heart so you do have a chance to heal fully but they also have a chance to damage you and that's why I dislike them and that's why I didn't want to unlock that I will unlock it at some point but the thing is I can live without knowledge of where secret rooms are and I can live without the hearts for, for a while you know that I mean I'm in no rush to get that so I don't really feel the need to purchase that upgrade like right this second so I'm probably just gonna leave it shields and a penny I don't know if I should use my active more I, s I tend to save all of my crystals like for my active right up until the boss I don't know if I should be using it more frequently than that because it seems like a waste to just sort of carry it around and not use it when I could just be increasing my fire rate all the time don't hurt me. These little spiky balls, these here, that those enemies drop. I think if you step on them, they're just meant to deal damage. But I had a run uh, on the release date, actually. The first time I ever stepped on one. And I stood on it, it damaged me. And then I, like, levitated 
up into the air with the spiky ball thing still stuck to me. Don't know if that's intended or if it just did it. But it, it was weird, you know. Uh, I kind of liked it in a strange sort of way. Oh, what is that? There's like a little spaceship or a bottle rocket or something. I need more money. We're going to buy that. We are buying the rocket. Ooh, devil deal, devil deal, devil deal. Oh, so close. I don't actually think it's a devil deal. I think it's a deal with Ares. But, you know, when you've been playing Isaac for a long time and you get devil deal just sort of ingrained in your mind. What what was what was this? What what is cake? What is cake do? Blueberry cake. Drop extra shields if you hatch an empty egg. Oh, you know that these are all empty. There is no no egg mon in in these eggs. They are all empty. All up in my shield nuts. Give me shields. No keys. Why am I always left without keys? Onto the boss then, I guess. Ooh, 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 there's a coin this way. Do we have access to coin? We do not. It wouldn't it wouldn't give me enough money anyway, so it's fine. I need more monies. I only have 51. Why? I could have sworn I had more than that. I don't know why. Charlie, the god of builds. I don't understand how there can be a god of pills. Pills are not a religious item. Ah, oh, they are man-made. Okay, okay, just focus. Just focus on the fight. Stop talking rubbish for like one minute of your life and just focus on not getting killed. I need to ideally be remaining at full health ah, at all times because I got the power-up that gives me... Uh, more damage when I'm at full health. And I'm just not taking advantage of that at all. You're on top of your game, upgrade. Arr. I need to start reading these things quicker. You're on top of your game. Upgrade your weapon, increase your jump height and movement speed slightly. Okay. Okay. Seems like a pretty solid upgrade. Wait, upgrade your weapon. What? I fire three shots occasionally. So that must be what the upgrade weapon does for this weapon. Each weapon upgrades differently, I have noticed. Some gain extra shots, some gain more damage, some gain fire rate, some gain additional ammo, because there are certain weapons that you have to reload. Oh, now I'm back up to full heart. What are you, gun? Red dragon, I think that shoots lots and lots of missiles. B virus, smithing hammer. Smithing hammer sounds like it'd just straight upgrade your weapon. That'd be like, a usual thing for a weapon to do in a in a game like this. Like that's what it does in Hades. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. Upgrade weapon and increase damage. Oh even better. Four shots now. Okay, okay, okay. So we still need a key to get excuse me into there. So I can't I can't get in there. Unless the boss was already dead. Happens to give me a key. That's not going to happen, is it? Unless there was a key in the shop. I think that's worth it. It's worth buying a key to access um, the challenge room because the challenge room guarantees a power up and there is no key. Hmm. Oh. Never mind. Onwards! Onwards to the next floor. I'm excited. I think this is as far as... Did we get this far last time? I'm sure this is as far as we got last time. And I am guarantee we didn't get any further. Ooh, challenge room first. We can always come back for the shop later. Challenge room first. I don't like the little silver ball companion thing that I've got. Because, I mean, it's handy because it blocks shots, but it also blocks my shots. And I'd rather it just blocked enemy projectiles. Bodyguard glasses, these are ridiculous. The amount of extra damage you get from these. I mean, like, if you look at the size of my shots now. Okay, you can't really tell that much with this particular weapon, but in some cases, the shots just grow, like, exponentially. It's ridiculous. Such a powerful pickup. 
I always take that if it's available. Like if it's in a devil deal or anything like that. It's a guaranteed pickup for me. It is a good power up, it's good eats. Come on. Little wormy worm. Fire devil. I was kinda hoping that was gonna be empty to be honest and give me another shield. That's not very nice. No, that is not nice. You do You can't do that to me. You can't just put a grenade on the spikes. Black mark. Black mark? Black rum, even. I don't know where I got mark from. There's no mark, it was clearly a bottle. What does black rum do? I didn't even read it. When you use a bomb, all your eggs will explode. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. Does, uh, does exploding eggs break my eggs? Also, do it damage me? My pet evolved and I got a shield. I forgot that I got that. That's from the polos, the hard mints. The mint with the hole. I wish I'd not shot that crystal. Oh wait, I didn't shoot the crystal. I wish that enemy had not shot that crystal. It's kind of annoying that enemies can do that as well. I mean, I guess I understand why, because, you know, it, it kind of makes sense if anything shoots it, because then you need to, like, prioritise protecting that crystal whilst also not shooting it yourself. So it, it does kind of make sense that it would. But at the same time, if I want the crystal and an enemy shoots it and there's no way that I can avoid it, it's just kind of annoying. But, you know, things is how they is. Where did you go, little worm? So these little worm deals, if you have companions, the companions will usually give away where they're about to appear because they start shooting there before the enemy actually appears, which is pretty handy. I find that the fire devil does it more than... Uh, more than most companions. I hate those purple bear dudes. They get me without fail all the time. Squish worm. Come on, shoot the barrel. Can I get up there? Probably not like that. Nope, again. Oh, I can! I actually... I didn't think I was going to make it. It's because I pulled a face. Yeah, that helps you jump higher. Trust, trust me, it does. If you're playing at home later, or now, just, just do it. You'll jump higher. I guarantee it. <laughs> okay, no, no it doesn't. Damn. I need keys. I have no keys. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not good at platformers. I'm not playing this game because it's a platformer. I know it is a platformer, but that's not the reason I'm playing it. What are you? Passenger. Enjoy yourself. I shall. That's kind of cool. Why do they not all pop into little things? Oh, because some of them were hitting my annoying little ball thing. It's just ruining all my damage all the time. I'm gonna stick with the other gun, I think. I like I like the homing shots. Those bouncy shots do look kind of cool. You know, I, I could get down with that, I guess. But not this run. This run, I'm enjoying using whatever this is. Is good. Is good gun. Oh, coin. Give me the. Oh, I've got money. Shop. Oh, I can't jump up there. Not even if I pull a face. I gotta go all the way around. You can do it. You gotta move those crazy legs. Go, go, go. Uh, shop. I don't have enough crystals. I'm all the way back here for nothing. You know if there's a crystal in this now? No, there isn't. Uh, I'm not even going to try that because I know I can't do it with these bombs. I will hit the chest and then it'll turn all my lovely purple meter into a red meter because... The purple meter's a lot harder to maintain than the red meter is. Crystals. Oh, so that was all my eggs exploding and they didn't seem to damage me, which is nice. It's not often that this game allows you to have anything explosive and then it not damage you. Then all the way back around again. On. I'm just eager to get to the shop. There's going to be good stuff in here. Oh, that is good stuff. Big Daddy. Immune to explosions. That is like the best. 
when you've got crazy X bombs. What what even happened then? There was like a weird noise and a flash. It What was that? That's not just a normal noise from getting hit by a hit by a bomb. That was that was something else. That was weird. Oh key! Buy the key! What are you doing? Just buy it! Buy it now! Buy the shield! Buy it! Buy it all! Why does it drop the shield on the floor when you buy I guess, uh, you know, if you accidentally pick it up, then people can laugh at you, like I just nearly did. Stop. Just stop bopping to the music. There is no need. Just remain still. Remain motionless. Like a regular person. Uh, oh my trying to kid, I've never been a regular person and never will be. Why are none of these eggs that I've got actually doing anything? I mean the little minion deals are, but the eggs are just sort of floating about. You know, why why you no know hatch? Uh do I want to use a key for that? Probably actually do. No, 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 don't. No. Because I haven't opened this yet. Over here. Ah, oh, but if I open a chest, there could be more keys in the chest. As well as, like, other things. What are you, dove? Ah, oh, there's an explosion. There's a chance that killing an enemy will release... Release an explosion on me? From me? Okay, so I was kind of thinking that the enemy would explode. But if, if I kill the enemy, then I explode. I guess it's kind of good for, like, if there's melee attackers while you're shooting at ranged things. It could just help give you that bit of extra protection, bit of extra defense. Onwards to the boss. Sung, God of Screens. Wait, I thought... We're not on We're not on the fifth floor yet, are we? For some reason, I thought we were on the fifth floor. What are you doing to me? Stop! What? Oh, he came back! I don't think I've ever fought this variation of this boss. I've fought other ones that don't quite fight like this. This one's tricky. Ah. No! No! Stop doing that! I want to get out of the corner. Please! That thing was ruthless. Hip flask. Take a short rinse repeat. Greatly increase your weapon damage. Look at the size of those crystals. That's some good stuff. That is good, tasty stuff. So, did I miss anything that I could go back and get? I don't think there's anything worthwhile. I'm just going to press on. Just press on, and we might actually win a run. It's probably not going to happen, but you know, we we might. Do I? Do I? Yeah, we'll go in. Why not? Oh, we take more damage on this one. Why is there enemies in here? I took damage to get in. You can't bombard me with enemies as well. Oh, teleporting dude, teleporting dude. I saw it. Oh, there's two prizes. Air Force Medal and Thunder. I think I've had Thunder before. Increase weapon damage when you're in the air. That's pretty nice. Maybe in a bigger environment you see it better. Oh. Okay, my shots don't actually appear to be getting any larger. Maybe I'm at max damage. Maybe there's like a damage cap for each weapon. Go, go, go. No, 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 the crystal, no. I tried to get to the crystal before the enemy shot it and obviously backfired massively and I've lost loads of health. Totally worth it. Worth every penny. Give me the shield. Need the shield. Okay, so now I've lost damage because I'm not at full hearts anymore. So now when I jump, you see that the shots get slightly larger. I can't believe I did that. I should have, I should have just left the crystal. It's because I wanted the, the extra deal before the boss, like before we finish the run, just to get a little bit more power, a bit more comfort for fighting the boss. But, unfortunately, that's not how the game works all the time. Have I... I thought I'd got grabby then. I could hear coins picking up that I'd not seen. I must have been walking over them and not realised. Oh, no, 
no, no, no, no. Oh, wait, those enemies can't hurt me. The little deals that run at you. What is going on up here? There's like things exploding. Yeah, I'm immune to explosions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I'm immune to them, but they still launch me an absolute mile. No, little teleporting dudes, why? Do not ruin this for me. This is a good run. Do not ruin the good run. We are on to a winner. Do not take this from me. I really need the extra health. Like, desperately. Wow, that got everything. How did it not get the wooden chest, but it damaged this chest in here? Plague marks. Chance of recovering half a heart each time you kill an enemy. That's good. I'm at full heart. When did that happen? Not that I'm complaining, just when did it happen? I'm going to blow that up as well, because sometimes... Not always, but sometimes there's um, items in random rocks. Even when you've unlocked, there's like a power up that. Ooh. I'll just buy the shield. Just buy the shield for now. There's a power up that reveals like rocks that have got prizes inside them. Um, but even inside rocks that aren't revealed by said power up when you've unlocked it. Oh, that's the thing from earlier B virus. The chance enemies will explode. Everything explodes. My eggs, my bombs, enemies, me. Um, yeah, so you can even, you can still find uh, things inside rocks that are not marked. They're usually like marked in yellow when you've, when you've unlocked the, the deal. But you can still find stuff in ones that are not marked as well. Which is why I just wanted to waste a bomb on those rocks. Because whilst it was probably still only a very slim chance, it was still chance nonetheless to get some oh no 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 okay handled that relatively well okay dokie you should get the coin get the coin but we'll, we'll try it here wow we got all sorts of things out of that we got a heart we got a shield Oh, where's my blue doctor gone? I'm not sad that the guy that makes moldy hearts is gone. But I'm sad that the blue doctor's gone. I like the blue doctor. But he's probably been gone for like ages and I've only just realised. But I'm still sad that he's gone. Oh, you little face hugger. I didn't expect that thing to jump. It just jumped right on my face like a little face hugger. More bombs. Bombs galore on this run. This is crazy stuff. Right, I want to try the thing that I did earlier, that I was trying earlier, now I've got bigger shots. See? I knew you could do it. I knew it. I wasn't lying. So yeah, if you've got big enough shots, you can be a little bit sneaky. And it's not that my shots go through these stones, because some guns do. It, it's just because I was close enough that the shot, being large, worked. Wow. Wow. I'm back. <laughs> Again! There's just explosions everywhere. This is absolute madness. I love it. I don't know why everything's exploding, but I love it. This is good. I've had this once, maybe twice before. Severely lowers your rate of fire, which I don't like, but massively increases damage. Oh, but if I've already got max damage on this gun, that might have just been a, a flat negative. I say, I don't know if weapons do have damage caps. They, they seem to, because it seems to get to a point where your bullets just stop growing. Or maybe it's just a visual, like, uh, maybe they just only grow to a certain extent, but they still get stronger. Because obviously, if they just continue to keep growing and growing, you're going to get to a point where you just can't see anything on the screen, like even more so than usual. Because there are some synergies that you can get where you just can't see a thing. All you see is like lasers and bullets and bombs and... All sorts of crazy madness going on. Maybe they just limit how much your shots can grow because of things like that. So you can actually play the game and not just be blinded by giant shots everywhere. Have I cleared? I have not cleared everything. We don't want to miss out on stuff before this boss because even though I've got a, what seems to be a pretty solid run going, this boss could still end it all for me. Is not the easiest boss. Definitely not the hardest boss, but is not strictly easy either especially for 
somebody of my skill level. Why are you still throwing bombs? There is nothing left to bomb. You're just bombing me. You've just been... You're just being mean for the sake of it. And whoop. Oh, in that situation, I could have just turned around. If I had normal bombs, turn around, and because I've got an egg at either side, I would have done two explosions and probably wiped out most of the rocks anyway. It's an interesting thought. I'll have to try that another time if I get that power-up ever again. I don't think I've ever had that power-up before. This is not the boss. Where, where am I even going? There's not even the right direction for the boss. I, sadly, I didn't manage to get my... My purple deal, angel deal, whatever they're called, intelligence deal, um, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, I didn't get it anyway, sadly. What are my shots locking onto, other than nothing? Uh, I do not like you. Ah, purple stuff everywhere. No, no, no. Okay, so, this is not going well. What do you mean Skilly's not ready? Of course Skilly's ready. Just use it! Go! Destroy! I should have used this at the beginning. I was saying earlier that I always save it for the boss. No! Why? Oh well. It was still a good run. And I still enjoyed it. Can we unlock anything new, maybe? Maybe? So at least I get something positive out of that? I'm sure on the Xbox it doesn't start you in this screen. The piano room's like the best thing. Yeah, so moldy hearts are the things that I was on about earlier. I don't want this. I mean, if I get it at some point, then fair enough, I get it. But for now, don't want it. Because I can live without this. That, that's good, but I can live without it. I don't need it. This is not a strict thing. So I'd rather just go for these things. Maybe these things and then whatever's on the pages after, and then come back to these two later on, because I can I can really live without that if it means I don't randomly damage myself when I pick up hearts. Maybe there's some sort of like major benefit to moldy hearts that I'm not noticing, and if there is, please let me know in the comments, and I will very, very quickly rethink my strategies. And this is what I was on about earlier as well with the stones with the, with the mark on them. So these will always have things inside them when you blow them up, but... The stones that don't have that mark also have a chance anyway. But first, I think we're going to unlock the piano room, because I love the piano room. It's so good, it gives you a quick restart. Did not know quick restart was a thing. Yeah, it gives you a chance to play a song, like by bouncing on piano keys. If you do it wrong, then you fail. If you manage to play the song properly, which is a lot more difficult than it looks. As I saw somebody else playing this game before, like prior to me getting it, because they got a pre-release version, um, they made it look really easy. I was like, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Looks quite fun. Tried it myself. Failed on, like, the second note. I suck. It's really hard to, like, to jump the right distances, and sometimes you land on two keys at the same time. Anyway, if you win, you get um, a power-up. It costs, like, 15 coins, I think, to play. Um, 15 coins for a power-up is pretty good. It lets you use it multiple times per room, which is also really good. It's just good, good stuff all around. I think I'm going to change my character now, just so I have a changed character ready for the next run. I'm going to go with Anna. We're going to leave the DLC characters for after, so maybe the run after my next run. And for now, I think we will leave it there. It's been a hell of a lot of fun, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.